Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for the support today. We got a little special guest on the channel. And it is a little special, a little guest. special, a little special guest. Little special and guest. it is old Big Steve. You haven't seen Big Steve in a while, and it's time to bring him back on the video. So if you guys want to check hashtag out hashtag bring dad yeah, back. Hashtag bring dad back down below. We might need to get some bring dad back merch on the website. If you guys want to see that, let me know. But if you guys want to go check out Big Steve's channel, Link's link down below. below. He's been vlogging a little bit about his car or his truck, and uh, he's done a lot of fishing videos with old Perry Murphy. Um, Perry is hilarious. So you guys need to go check out his content on his channel. And like I said, I'll link him down. Like I said, I'll link him down below. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Also, hit the like button. If you guys have been enjoying the content. Everybody's been asking me, Noah, when are you going to come out with some more Big Bass Energy hats? And I just dropped some on the website. So you guys need to go down below. Click the link, kickingtheirbass.com. Brand new Kicking Their Bass hats. These are the originals that I dropped on the website. And the ones that you see back here, these are going to be dropping very, very soon. These are the Big Bass Energy Cryptic Series hats. They're going to be coming to you guys soon. It and makes the ladies come running, man. I'm just telling you. <laughs> and look at this right here. We also have some Big Bass Energy lanyards coming very soon. Look at that, man. That's hot. They look really really good we got some other things coming out very shortly as well if you guys would also like to check out some t-shirts or sweatshirts they're on the website as well i appreciate everybody's support that's been purchasing some of the hats some of the clothing and overall just supporting me and supporting my brand i really appreciate the support man it, it means a lot and if you guys go on instagram post your pictures tag me in it i'll make sure i'll put you guys up on my story and, and i should love hashtag bring dad back hashtag bring dad back come on hashtag you guys help out the old man energy. here <laughs> Gotta help out the old man. But anyways, today we're running a little challenge. We haven't done a father-son challenge in a very long time, so we're making it happen today. I actually ran by Walmart, and I got some stuff. He doesn't even know what I got. I got I got a bag of stuff right there, but I also got some goodies in the back, or I actually have it in the garage. Have you seen it yet? No, but I have a feeling I know what's in the bag. What do you think is in the bag, man? Some dancing rascals. <laughs> <laughs> some dancing rascals. Huh? Why do you think that? Did you already look? No, because we always do the build dance dancing rascals because people like to see me in my big worms. What did you say about the dancing rascal last time? I think Bill Dance named this bait after himself. The big red worm and the dancing rascals. I think there's something behind that name. I think he's just not telling us. <laughs> Bill Dance's ego is right here on the package. <laughs> hey, mom, you want to come here and hold my big red worm? <laughs> come over here, play with my dancing rascal. She never wants to play with the dancing rascals. I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> so this is what we're doing today. I went by Walmart. Big Steve wasn't with me. And I got some supplies for today's video. I got a little baggie back here. Come here. You need to pull your hat, hat down. <laughs> it looks weird. All right, so this is what we got, Big Steve. We're running another whatever you catch fishing challenge, live bait challenge. Whatever you catch. Whatever you catch. It don't matter if it's a bass, a bluegill, a catfish. It don't matter. Got some split shots, okay? Got some panfish hooks. Show the camera right there. Yeah. We got a couple bobbers, and then I bought a whole nother pack of bobbers just in case we break one of them off or something stupid happens. So that's all we got right there. And then we got, we already showed the camera, the Dancing Rascals. And then I got two things in the garage I gotta show you real quick. Hold on. The big red worm Dancing Rascal. Play with my Dancing Rascal, <laughs> please. Got this. A oh. red coat. It's called the Slingshot. But that one's actually mine. Don't get too excited. That one's mine. And I got you a special one. I got you a good <laughs> hot pink one. We to rock today. Big Steve so, in the hot pink. So what you're going to do is take a butt whooping today by an old fat guy with a pink rod and reel. Yeah. In front of your entire YouTube community. Yep, 500,000 subscribers. This is the thing. You better beat me with it. With the pink rod because I got, you got an advantage over me. Every time we go fishing, you got an advantage. Yeah. What's that advantage? The advantage is I can't touch the fish, so you have to. Yep. But to your so, disadvantage is I've always catch the first fish, so you're busy taking the fish off because I'm busy whooping them. And now this you're going to every every time. the whole YouTube community and take a whooping by a fat guy with a pink rod and oh, reel man. on film honestly, for all you guys to see honestly, right here. Live. I hope it happens. I hope it happens. But that's the thing. If you guys didn't know, if you guys are new to the channel or you haven't seen Big Steve on the channel much, he's actually allergic to fish, so we can't touch him at all. I've seen a lot of people comment like, Noah, why doesn't he use gloves? I don't know if you guys understand how allergic he is like he could use gloves But the problem is like if a fish squirmed which it's a creature It's gonna move and like splashed on his face or something like it could be really bad 
The other so, problem is I can't get the gloves off when they have fish slime all over them because then I'm yeah. Like you literally stuck. can't like any of the slime, like anything on the fish, like you can't touch. Um, so it's just difficult. I don't know. Every time he like hands me the fish, he like walks away and like hold it out to me. So, um, I don't know. <laughs> but for everybody asking, like, why doesn't he just use gloves? That's why. Because I mean, if it splashes anywhere, I mean, it can splash on your face at any time. So. Then we gotta call the bamboo lance. Yeah, we don't. Know, we don't want to do that today. Yeah, let's go ahead and walk down to the pond. Actually, let's rig up first. We're gonna go ahead, tire hook, split shot, bobbers on, and get ready. I'm kind of digging that combo. I'm kind of jealous. It's going down. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, we are rigging up. It's got like this little tiny plastic thing on the end of it. We're gonna cut that bad boy right off. I was gonna buy some regular Zebco 33s, but they were like thirty dollars. What, what pound line is this though? I gotta tell the people. I don't know. See, probably see like ten. No, it is 10 pound. That's actually surprising. I thought it would be a lot lighter. 10 pound mono, I'm assuming. So this is what we got right here. These are regular panfish hooks. These are actually really small, size six. And if you guys didn't know, let me show you. Little hooks right here. Let me see if I can focus in, man. Come on now. Yeah, right there. You see that, man? It's a little tiny hook. Come on. Yeah, no. Yeah, right there. A little tiny hook. If you guys are wondering why this is so long, it's because when you get it in a, in a bluegill's mouth, so you'll be able to actually get it out so you don't have to gut hook them. I actually didn't know that like a year ago, so I thought I'd tell you guys. But I'm tying this on right here. We're going to tie this bad boy on first. Like I said, size 6 panfish hook. going to tie it with a basic uni knot. Yo, scissors, cut our tag in. Boom, just like that. And we just got some little split shots. These are just regular lead split shots. And then I got a two-pack of these bobbers. Like I said, I got some other bobbers, some cheaper ones, just in case we end up breaking off or something stupid happens. You know, every time I go fishing, just crazy stuff happening. But we're going to go ahead and put, I'm probably going to put two of these split shots on. I'll put one on, and if I need two, then I'll put two. But I don't. These are, this is the worst split shot I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Look at that. It's like not even, man, it's just that Walmart split shot, baby. Bit it. Put the old chompers on it. Oh, I think barely on there, boy. Let's see what you got going on, man. Let's see what you got going on. Oh, that barely did grab that line. <laughs> it ain't coming off of there, though. I put the horsepower on it. You can't see good now. You see how that eye's turning. <laughs> I'm talking about. <laughs> you can see good far away. You can't see how it get up close now. <laughs> Since you have a LASIK done to your eyes. Well, don't ever get your eyes fixed, because if you really see what I look like, you might be out the door. Yeah. That's how you trick them. You get the pretty ladies with bad eyesight. That's how you do it. All right, this is the thing. We're going to have to experiment with this when we get down here, but I'm probably only going to put it a... If... I don't even think that's a foot. What did you do? You what? I went like three, Why is three foot, man. Why? You think those fish swimming around top of the water or bottom of the water? Dude, it ain't that deep out there. So if it's ten foot, All right, I'm probably halfway. All right, man. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you toy around. That's that's man. what I'm going with right there. That's gonna catch. That's fine. Look at that. About a foot. When he's taking a whooping by the old pink rod, we're all gonna know why. Okay. He's gonna blame the bobber situation. Okay. Man, you're setting it for an elephant. <laughs> we're gonna take all our stuff down to the pond. See if we can catch something today. It's gonna be fun. The weather's a little whack. Last couple weeks has been just weird and now it's really windy today but it's gonna be fun big steve's gonna get a butt whooping today at least i hope so i'm pretty sure you kicked my butt last time not gonna I'm, happen i can't remember or not but uh let's go ahead and get down there make it happen hit that like button let's get it started all right so we just made it out to the pond we have not been down here in a long time we actually came out last night we were just messing around and uh oh you didn't film that part pond. yeah I know. you didn't film that part i don't know what big, was that what? big steve caught a good couple i'm not mm. gonna lie definitely like an eight nine pounder just swimming around here I promise you, if we well, catch I it today. He eats my big red worm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the pond right here. It honestly looks a lot different from the last couple of times we fished it just because it's getting colder outside. Leaves are falling off. And there used to be a ton of brim beds right here in this corner. A lot of the fish that we were catching yesterday were right over here. And then we were having a bunch of bites by a lot of bass way out there. And by the way, we're not just going for brim today. We're going for literally what, whatever, going for bass, anything that a really bite a live worm. We're just going to do the old fashioned today, you know, fish with some live bait, fish with some night crawlers and just have a good time. So anything you want to stay, say before we get this started? Pink slingshot, big boy behind the reel means total death annihilation to kick in their bass right here on TV. It's going to happen. <laughs> on TV. You're going down, baby. Hey, going so down. this is the thing. What do you want? 
I, I might need your opinion I too. I know how to make my rascal dance. <laughs> All right. So I'm just See how, you know how to wiggle your worm? <laughs> I know how to make my rascal dance. <laughs> if I didn't, you yeah. wouldn't be here. <laughs> Yeah, so what, no, not even that. What, what's the challenge? Like, we're gonna, all right, I think we should do like a couple different, like, little challenges. How about? In the one big tournament. First person to three fish wins. I'm gonna go ahead, rig up with the worm. We're gonna cast at the same time. Can't be getting ahead of each other. But, uh, like I said, let's get it started. It's gonna be a good one. Hit that like button. Let's make it happen. He's trying to hurry and get a worm on before yeah, you. Hurry. Listen, we're casting at the same time. At the same time? The same time. Are you putting a big worm on? Like a whole worm, or are you putting a little tiny? Oh, I'm putting the whole worm because I'm right. going. I'm going for Nadine out there. Yeah, look I'm at that. Catch the big one. Look at that. Come here now. You gotta get it. Yep. Oh my God, you're going crazy. <laughs> That's the winning ticket right there. Y'all know what's up. Right there. So how look how long your leader is. This is all right. This is another thing. We're gonna learn something today. I don't know which one they're gonna bite better, but you, you got a long. There, here's where the hooks are insane. My leader's up about another foot and a half past about two foot. Okay, let's see oh, what happens. Oh, go. <laughs> hey, this thing casts pretty good for ten dollars. No oh, very first fish already. Hmm. No, what is that? Is it a brim? It was a bass. bass. It's a bass. Look how lucky this man gets. He just landed right on his nose. Oh, oh, oh! Hey, don't be talking. Oh, you better oh, take oh. my fish don't off, no? Hey, hey, okay, hey, you gotta take my fish off, man. Something playing with my worm out there. You gotta be careful. Oh my God, he's going. He's got it. Oh! <laughs> you want me to get, take the fish off? Dude, look at him. Oh, that ain't Dude, He was going straight at the bank. Uh, you also oh have no. You also have What is it? Cheated that one, right? My fish been here for five minutes. I could already call the second man. one. Oh a brim. Gosh, look at that, dude. Is that not crazy? Look at the colors on these fish. We got a bass and a bluegill right off the bat. Dancing rascals, man, they do the trick. Shout out to Bill Dance. Bill Dance knows how to make them Bill Dance, worms. I'm still waiting, still waiting on my response in the Instagram DM. Bill Dance follows me, but he hasn't hit me back. Big Steve's first fish, beautiful markings on him. Look at that lateral line on him. Pretty fish. On the little bitty guy. Ugh. Look at this one guy. though. Ate my worm up. Look at this. Both of us got a fish right away. But look at the orange on this bluegill right here. So beautiful. All right. <laughs> one that, rod, what did you just do? You just squeal like a dog or something, you weirdo. Because he's trying to hurry up and put it on another worm yeah, so he can beat hurry. you. You know what's funny? I already got a worm on there. Look at oh. that beautiful bluegill. <laughs> got that little, little orange on there. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. All right. Give him a little toss. Oh, Big Steve's rigging up. You know, this is what I'm going to do. Look at this. Look at this. Right there. Look at this. Look at that right there. What you doing, Big Steve? Nothing happens there, Twinkie boy. What the heck was that? I missed that. Yeah, you better hurry up. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> epic you failure. You better hurry up. Look at that, another bluegill. They're out there, these dancing rascals too. This one's not as colorful. All right, let's see if we can lip them. We're gonna lip them like a bass, right here. We gotta be precise. Look at that. Right there, beautiful bluegill, big mouth on him. You made me wait. <laughs> made you wait? What are you, you saying? You were putting on another worm. Listen, man. How does it make you? Two Look at that. I got two. It's beautiful I got two fish. Right now, and guess what? I, you can't let me get a third. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. He got one. Right. Look at this. Look at this. I gotta rig this up real quick. I'm not gonna throw it in until I take Big Steve's off the hook. I'm gonna be fair. That's two for the pink rod. Y'all know what's up. Okay. Man. Uh oh, they're tied right Dude, now. Not, they were super bright, and now now they're just. No, it's colorful. You gotta be careful with the fish slime, but that's Big Steve's. We both got two. I got fish slime everywhere. Don't touch my rod. So far, it's two to two, right, Noah? Yeah. Cheese me. I gotta cheese you. If you'd have got my fish and let him loose, I'd have already caught the other one. Cheese oh, nothing. now you're fishing in my spot right, over right, here. That's the oh. Now you're fishing in my spot over here. And I got my third fish on already. You gotta always you watch hurry and get the fish off of there so I can get back <laughs> in there. Come on now. <laughs> He's cheesing me. Oh, you're about ready, you, you Go ahead. Come on, unhook me. You, you technically already won. Unless I just magically get a bite before this fish hits the water. Oh, I forgot. It's the first three fish. It's so the you, first, did, you, you did take the death by the pink rod. A little bit of gold action on them. Well, I guess I could say you officially won the first one. Pink rod won the first one, not the blue Yes, you could officially say I won it. All right, so Big Steve won the first challenge. You got the first Wait a minute, three. I'll well, just get a repeat of that. Speak into the mic, my son. Big Steve won the first challenge. Just so you know, 
Big Steve won the first challenge. Yeah, you know what's up. With the pink combo, with Ooh, the tag store. Why, why did we leave the 998 tag? special. Listen, man, I gotta take this off. I think that's, I think that's my problem. Ah, I've used the Zeb. What do you think about that? It actually casts a lot better than I thought. Like, it's not bad. I think if it had a little weight on it, you could probably end up coming out there. Because the, the Zebco 33? That's like the original. And this is like an inexpensive one. This was like one third of the price. And I'm gonna be honest, it's not that bad. So what are you thinking for the second challenge, Big Steve? Since you won, I'll let you pick. I think the second challenge should be the first one to get a bass. Okay. That's fair. Because those All right. are bluegill. We already know they're air. They're gonna be in our way. So the challenge would be weed through the bluegill and catch a bass. Catch a bass? I won't catch All me right. a bass up in here. Well, let's rig up a worm. Yep. Right. We gotta talk about our strategy. Individually, I can't be giving you all my secrets. <laughs> you gotta talk about her strategy. Wait a minute, I just won, so ain't you trying to steal my secrets? I mean, so what's your strategy? I told you. You I can't. can tell the camera I won't listen. <laughs> I won't hear anything. By the way guys, I apologize if the wind is just nasty. I don't think it's too bad, but I don't know. I was out fishing the other day and it was way worse than this, but then again, I'm not using my GoPro today. Look at that. That's one of my strategies, man. You gotta put you put yourself a good piece of meat on there. I got two worms right there. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Golly. <laughs> what are you doing? I got my dancing rascal. Whoa! All right, we're taking a walk to the other side of the pond. Right here, right? Right? I mean, where do you want to go? When, when did these trees get here? Are these all, all been here all the time? Well, they have not. I've no, been, they haven't. Look at all your old videos. They're in there. They, these have been in the old videos. Oh, I don't think so. They look old. They've been here since the day we moved. That's the thing. I got to get that long cast. Matter of fact, we're gonna adjust the bobber a little bit. We need to go a little bit deeper for this one. Just a wee bit. Just a wee bit. Okay. Now we're gonna go over here in this pocket. Oh my gosh. Oh, I hope that's a bass. Oh, I hope that's a bass. It's not a bass. Oh, if that's a bass, the challenge is over already. It's not a bass. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a bass. You lose. It's a bluegill. <laughs> Dude, the bluegill in here are insane. Like, look at that. It's one of the biggest bluegills I've ever seen. You think the bass would be monsters? Dude, that is a huge bluegill. Oh, oh just... there goes your bobber. There goes your bobber. He's gone. He's out of here. Oh! I hope that's a bluegill. It's a bass. It's a bluegill. Oh, oh. It's a bass. Oh, it's a bass. No, it's a bluegill. Oh my god. All right. Ah, I thought it was a bass, but so look at that. You got lucky. Look how big you <laughs> Mine's still bigger than yours. All right, you can't cast yet since we both have a fish. We're gonna have to rig up and go for another cast. How are we gonna weed through all these bluegills? I don't know. This thing's huge. Look at that thing. Look at this thing. It's bigger than your hand. Like you can lay that thing in your hand. Still got another one over here. That's literally perfect for a sandwich. Look at this one. This is a. This is perfect like live bait size. This is pretty big though. Still, still, a, you know, pretty large. Well, maybe that's what we should do next. Yeah, we. If you guys want to see a live bait video, let me know, and maybe we'll come out here, catch some live bait, and then go to another area, to try to catch some big bass. I mean, I know there's big bass in here. There's just a lot of small ones, and I feel like if we took this bait somewhere else, like look at that. That's like, that's perfect. Did that catch a ten pound bass all day? Put a little okay. worm on the hook. Try, man. So over here messing with his little worms. You ready? I'm ready. Are you changing up your strategy? Big, just same leader, everything? I put a little longer. I put mine a little bit longer than before, but. All right. That was a good cast. Come now we back. wait. Come on, big bass in it. This is the thing. Come There's so many in bluegill in here. It's just kind of difficult to try to weed through them. Then we gotta catch so many. Then I gotta take his fish off the hook, too. Just kidding. Oh my god. That's a bass, gotta be. Nope, it's a bluegill. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, that's a bass, dog. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> bass. How's that happening? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I won the second challenge, baby. Woo! This is exactly how it needed to go. I wasn't gonna let Big Steve 2 0 me. Because I'm assuming this is the best out of three. Come? Every time we have a three challenge, Happens. it always comes down to the, the playoffs. Dude, it's every single time. It's, I think you always. <laughs> every time. There's never where one of us just 2 0 each other. And we don't even like plan these videos out. It just happens that way. There we go. Total horse box. Second challenge is over. Your boy kicking their bass. Got the dub.
So it's one to one now. Now it's the best out of three, right? Is that your best big bass energy right there? I think it's my best big bass energy. All right, here we go. Third challenge. Are you ready? I'm Winner ready. takes no, all. This, this is the last one. It's one to one. So whoever makes it happen, we can't catch four fish, can't catch five fish. We're gonna catch three feet, three fish. Three fish, <laughs> three fish a piece. One fish, two fish, three, three fish. fish a piece. We're gonna catch three fish a fish. <laughs> We're gonna catch three fish a piece. And the biggest one wins. So we can't catch four, can't catch five. Three fish a fish. All right, <laughs> we gotta make it happen. So let's go ahead and make it happen. We gotta pass at the same exact time. We can't catch four, only three. And like we said, we're gonna measure them. So if it doesn't, we're gonna lay them against the rod. Like if we get a bass, that's how we we'll determine if it's the biggest. You ready? Go ahead. One eternity later. Well, we didn't catch any more fish, so it's a tie today. We're one and one today, so we're gonna come back for a part two. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button, drop a comment down below on what you guys wanna see for the part two episode and what videos you guys like to see with Big Steve. If you guys could go check out his channel, hit the like button. Peace. I love you guys so much. Peace. Mm-hmm.